I'm Michael. How may I help you? I see. Do you have any specific concerns or questions about this computer? I understand. Security is an important part of using any computer. Those are valid points. We all want the best value for the computer we've chosen. Even so, computer hardware and software are changing much more quickly than other products in response to consumer demand, security needs, and other factors. A new system can also perform tasks your existing system can't do at all, and you get a new manufacturer's warranty. Yes, you mentioned earlier that you can't get updates for your existing software. Well, computer software is available from multiple sources beside the ones originally written for your computer. That's correct. There are two basic kinds of computer software, commercial and open source. Open source software is written by a community of developers from around the world. Unlike commercial software, it is freely distributed worldwide and at no cost to the end user. Yes, there are open source operating systems, as well as open source business applications, games, educational programs, and so forth. Yes, there's a workstation table right behind you. We can look at it there. All right. Okay, your system is on the test bench here. We can see that it's a Power Mac G4. Let's take a closer look at the operating system and the hard drive and the system memory to make sure your computer meets the system requirements of the prospective new operating system. Here is the About This Mac window. We see that your computer is running version 10.3.2 of the Mac operating system, codenamed Panther. Your concern about using the current Mac operating system is valid. Version 10.6 can only be used on Intel-based Macintosh systems. The previous version, Mac OS 10.5, requires either an Intel-based PowerPC G5 or PowerPC G4, but of at least 867 MHz processor speed. Your system runs at 733 MHz and is therefore too slow. Your system has 1.25 GB of system memory, enough to meet the system requirements of either Mac OS or Linux, but a little bit less than optimum for multitasking. A memory upgrade to at least 2 GB 4 gig for video capture and editing would be my recommendation. Here is the get info window for your system's hard disk drive. It is just under 19 gigabytes total capacity. Again, enough to meet the needs of the operating system, but a bit small when we start installing programs and creating large documents, especially when video capture and editing are involved. Here is the desktop of your system running Ubuntu Linux 10.02. Note the main menu bar at the top of the screen, very similar to your existing OS. Status windows show the operating system, network connections, and even the contents of your hard disk. Once installed, your existing internet connection can be used to search for and install a wide range of open source applications. All right, we've seen that your computer can run an alternate operating system. All the computers, including the web browser, are working fine. There are three options to consider at this point. Option one, use the computer as is. It'll do the job that you're asking it to do now, but with limited security, limited opportunity for new software, and no more security updates. Option two, replace the existing operating system with an alternate open source operating system. Replace the programs you're running with open source programs. Get current security capabilities, and add a little bit of money, I estimate less than $200, for some more memory and a larger hard drive. Option three, replace the existing computer with a new computer, gain all the performance capabilities and new abilities of a new computer, gain the new manufacturer's warranty, not to mention the protection plans we offer here at Micro Center. The choice is yours. Thank you. It's glad to be of help.